Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you the visual quality difference between the LCD display on the Samsung Tab S7 versus the AMOLED display on the Samsung Tab S7 Plus. I'm going to show you some wallpapers, so we'll see if you can spot any differences. And I'm also going to show you some color settings that you can change on the tablets. Now, one important thing to know is the AMOLED display actually uses PWM, Pulse Wave Modulation. So PWM may affect some people, as in usually when the display is white or basically when you're reading web pages, the display will be white with black text on it. Or if you are looking at the display at night where the brightness goes down, that's where you may see PWM. So right now I have adjusted my camera to record this segment as if there is dim lighting. So I'm not sure if you can see the pulse wave modulation. From what I can see through my camera, the frequency is going in this diagonal direction. Whereas on the LCD display, it's, well, it's normal. I've just switched back the camera's frequency to match that on the AMOLED display so that there's no uh, PWM. And now let's compare some wallpapers. Now these are Mac OS wallpapers. I'll provide the link to where you can find all this in the video description below. This um, photo album on Google Photos is actually quite good. There are a lot of beautiful wallpapers. Okay, so from what I can see right now, uh, again, the white here is brighter. It's a bit more neutral. Let's click on this. Um, Right, the difference between these two tablets um, in terms of visual quality, it's actually quite similar. Slightly brighter on this, colors are very similar, very bi vibrant, uh, but just slightly brighter here, especially around this area from what I can see and also on the white areas. And here, um, I actually uh, cannot tell much difference. All right, um, I can see the difference here. For the purple here, it's a little bit, it's slightly muted compared to the purple here, which is really vibrant as if it's a neon-like color. But other than that, I don't see any difference with the other colors. Maybe the red, is a bit more vibrant, again, achieving that neon-like uh, effect. I'm not sure if my camera can actually uh, capture the differences. All right, um, here I don't really see much difference. Maybe the clouds here are brighter. The clouds here are brighter mostly because the AMOLED display has higher maximum brightness and therefore can show off a larger, a wider dynamic range. That's why you can see the highlights are brighter and you can also see some additional shadow details. But other than that, both tablets, um, they look very similar. There is a difference in the blue. So this is more like, um, like it's very difficult for me to describe. Deep blue, this is more like a cyan blue, a bit more pastel-like blue. Okay, uh, for this wallpaper, I do not see any difference. Straight away, I can tell I can't see any difference. Here as well, I do not see any difference. Or do, do I see any difference? seems like the red here is actually a bit more uh, vibrant as in deeper yeah i'm not sure why slightly brighter here slightly brighter here now most of the differences um, that i see i really have to have two tablets side by side to compare Yep, uh, slightly brighter here. And the blue here, it's a bit um, more muted. I'm not sure if my camera can capture the colors uh, accurately. This is my block. So again, I can see brighter whites here. 
let's take a look at the photos this is a text review of the ipad air 2020 versus the tab s7 and um very difficult for me to find any differences or see any differences i mean there will be difference if you are looking for it but a quick glance like this side by side the only visual difference i can tell is the white is brighter the colors they look kind of similar and now let's see what color settings you can change now both displays are running at 120 hertz so on the tab s7 they call this motion smoothness adaptive so the display refresh rate will adjust depending on what you are showing on the display and on the tab s7 plus the motion smoothness is high so it's 120 hertz all the way no wonder i feel like the battery life on this uh, smaller tablet it's significantly longer compared to this maybe it's because of the adaptive motion smoothness okay let's go to screen mode so now both tablets are using the vivid color mode right now and from what I can see, um, I don't really spot any significant differences, at least with this photo. For this photo, again, not a lot of difference. For this photo, I can see the green here. Maybe it's slightly brighter and more vibrant. The orange and the purple or violet here looks, um, they look kind of similar. So the colors on this LCD display, um, it still looks fantastic. Even with a side-by-side -side comparison with AMOLED display. So let's change it to neutral mode sorry natural mode right now so immediately the color becomes more muted uh, so-called more natural and here you can definitely see the jump from vivid to natural it's a very obvious uh, change here you can see the change as well but not as obvious as this change let's go through the wallpapers again so now it looks as if the colors here on the amulet display they are a bit more muted slightly more muted compared to the lcd display interesting and here the colors they look very similar maybe the colors here slightly more muted so the natural screen mode of the AMOLED display is slightly more muted relatively speaking compared to the LCD natural mode okay so for the vivid mode on the Tab S7 Plus there are some additional settings let me just push this up slightly so here you can adjust the white balance yep uh, let me just put it to neutral and there are advanced settings where you can adjust the rgb so i guess i can adjust this white here to match this if i want to yeah anyway let me just keep it at default have all the three at maximum so that the white will be natural I've just drawn the curtains in my room to show you the LCD backlight glow. So with AMOLED displays, you can get like really good contrast. The black will be black because this is not showing backlight. All the pixels are individually lit. And when it's black, the pixel is not lit at all. Whereas here, when it's black, there's still backlight shining through. That's why you can see that it's not totally black because there's still light shining through and let me just play the movie so i have both tablets in vertical format because i can show you the black bars at the top and bottom more obviously so i can definitely see the dynamic range here 
slightly better. Now, there is backlight glow at the black bars, uh, top and bottom, but when it comes to watching movies, the movie on the iPad, sorry, on the... When it comes to watching this video on YouTube, the brightness here again slightly brighter and the colors are slightly more vibrant. I guess the only visual difference that is more significant is actually the backlight glow for the LCD display. So if you are watching the video in landscape orientation, this by the way is the Tab S7, the LCD display, the backlight glow at the for the black bars at the top and bottom they will not be that obvious because now the black bars they take up way less space some of you may want to use your tablet in total darkness so from what i can see um it seems like the lcd display is slightly brighter now i'm using adaptive brightness currently automatic brightness so it looks like LCD is slightly brighter, whereas on the AMOLED it's slightly um, lower. I have adjusted the camera exposure to show what my eyes are looking at in real life right now. So at minimal brightness, 0% brightness, the LCD appears to be slightly brighter compared to the AMOLED. This is the same YouTube video. So at minimal brightness you can see the backlight glow on the lcd display it's no longer that obvious it does look like the brightness here is slightly higher so the advantage of the amoled display you get slightly more vibrant colors higher brightness and better contrast better dynamic range the downside is there is pwm which may or may not affect you but uh, PWM is something that you have to see for yourself in real life to decide whether or not that can actually affect you. I do read online of people are saying that AMOLED display, um, the PWM, they cause headaches or cause their eyes to get tired very quickly. But um, if you are someone who is affected by PWM, you can go with the LCD model. The colors still look like terrific. So do you think it's worth spending the extra money to get AMOLED? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. See you guys again.